All right, so today we're going to look at Butterflight. Stop. All right, if you're seeing this video upload again and you're wondering what the heck is going on, I messed up in my testing and I had the wrong uh, gyro sample rate. I had the gyro sample rate set to 8K, which is what impacts your uh, Q&R value set point for your cutoff for your fast Kalman filter. So I cut out the... Uh, short tests I did out of the video and re-uploading this. I think the content on availability to switch back and forth, which we'll get to here in a second. And uh, I just wanted to fix it, and get it re-uploaded. If this is the first time you're seeing the video, you don't even know what I'm talking about, never mind. But if you're seeing this again, if you watch the old one, then uh, this is that's why. Okay, so if you're not aware what Butterflight is, it's a fork off of Betaflight. Uh, it had to do with the fast common filter, and when that did not get implemented in its original equation, um, some people were upset over that. Uh, the Betaflight devs uh, produced a decent amount of documentation that shows that, hey, it's this, the BQRCF2 uh, is repurposing code that's already there. Uh, it's not the same exact equation, but they produce the same phase delay and attenuation and essentially, you know, you can either say 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3, or you could say 2 plus 1 equals 3. Different equations, but the end result's the same, so it doesn't matter. The butterfly folks say uh, they disagree with that. So they forked off, made their own. I do kind of like what they did is they threw out some uh, features that I, I know I don't use. I would call them fluff features, but if you use them, you might not call them fluff. And... Uh, did that so they could fit in all the mathematics for the fast common filter and also the BQRCF2 are both in there. So it's very easy to flash to Butterfly and then switch between the two to see what you like best. So I did that. Anyways, you can see on their recommendations right here, this is their filter setup. So they are turning on air mode, anti-gravity, dynamic filter, uh, which was in my recommendation. And then also, you know, fast common filter is turned on by default and then they're setting their Q and R to 488. I'm a little confused by that, and I have seen some posts on the Butterfly site where, you know, they're saying, you know, just set it to that. Where, where I'm a little confused is that a Q and R of 400, you know, that's, you know, this is for R equals 10, but let's just change this to be 488. So I'll change that to 88. So you can see this is Q, 488's R. Ignore this. This would say R equal 88. You can see that's going to give you different, so wherever this falls, so if I come up from here to my 32 kilohertz sample rate, you can see that I'm going to get different cutoff frequencies. So, you know, it to me it has to vary by whatever your PID loop is at. I'm running a 4K PID loop on this. So, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know about that. But they're saying, hey, don't don't mess with it. And do keep in mind that, you know, if your PID loops at, you know, 32K, well then your cutoff for the fast common filters at 711 hertz. If it's at 16, it goes down and so on and so forth. So at 4K, it's around 90 hertz, which is about the same as you would get for your classic PT1 low pass filter. Uh, the same hertz range there. So yeah. But anyways, what I did is I, you know, I did kind of ignored these and because uh, I know more about filtering, maybe not so much. But uh, anyways, nevertheless, that's what I did. I ignored it and went in and set up my filters for what I wanted to test or recommend recommended for beta flight. And if so, what that procedure is here, if I go into my PID tuning tab and then I go over to my filters, what I ended up doing is turning off the classic uh, PT1 filter, uh, setting my PT my D term low pass to PT1, turning off all my notches. I do have on the uh, dynamic notch, so you can see that's down here. And then going into the CLI, if you type in get gyro. You can see in here for this run, I had the BQRCF2 set. What's nice is then you can just change this variable to run the fast Coleman for comparison purposes. 
I'm going to go out on a little bit of a limb here and you know assume that when I have my gyro filter Q and R set and for me uh, to get n around 90 hertz and I'll show you here in a second it's uh, 47 for Q and R is 10 so let's just go back over here and show you what I was doing here if I put this to 10 oops, And I change this to 47. Let's just do this one since it's close. You can see at 4K, that's a cutoff of 90.5 hertz. So it's just a little bit over 90. And then I'm also assuming that if you're switched to the BQRC F2 filter for a test run, that when you set your gyro stage to low pass at 90, because that's how 3.3 works, that that's the cutoff. So it's using this for the fast Coleman it's using this for the low pass so if, if anybody out there says that I'm wrong you know, let me know in the comments I'll, I'll correct that you know the main points are just you know switching between the two and and how with butterfly you can you can t check that out